Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to help Gaming Gammon uh, to control a switch with a script call. So he says, I need some help. Can you tell me how to spawn slash create a new event in game via a script call? So Gammon, all you have to do is create the event like you would normally create it, and then set the conditions to have a switch on. So for this uh, condition, I'm using switch 141 with the spawn, and I call it spawn event 1. Um, so we're just giving it, this is going to be the event that you want uh, to spawn or be created. Now here's the controller for the, the thing. What we're going to be doing is input it, inputting a script call like you asked. Go to tab 3, under advanced, go to script. And all we're doing for this script call is doing a, controlling a switch. So we're going to do dollar sign game capital S on switches dot set capital V on value parentheses. Now here's the number where you're going to put the, the number of the switch. So for that first switch, we put the conditions for 141 uh, on. So we're going to set that to true because switches are booleans, so they only have two values, 0 or 1, but the game reads it as true or false. So 0 would be false and true is 1. So we're going to set uh, game switches 141 on. So we're turning switch 141 on. That's all we're doing with the script call. And then we're going to control uh, do a self-control control self switch which is going to go to the next page. This next page will activate when self switch is on. That way if we activate this again, it's going to do the same thing with a script call, except we're turning this boolean to a false. So we're turning this switch off. So by activating this event, it turns the, the bat event on, and then we hit it again, it'll turn the bat event off. So let's take a look at that in game. So here's the event, we, we activate it, and the bat is spawned. If we activate it again, it disappears. The event will still be where it's activated, unless we leave the map and come back. So it's still up there, we activate the switch, and this is with the script call. Alternatively, the editor can do this, but the bonus to this is you can uh, have this uh, event be activated within your plugin or within whatever else you're working on. So hopefully this video was helpful helpful for you, Gammon, and anybody else watching. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next tutorial.